Japanese folklore is rich with mysterious and terrifying creatures that have intrigued and frightened people for centuries. They are called yokai and range from playful and mischievous to vengeful and terrifying, each with its unique story and origin. Yokai represent the fears, hopes, and values of traditional Japanese culture. One of the most infamous yokai is the oni. It is a demon-like ogre with horns, tusks, and sharp claws. Oni are said to bring disaster and misfortune, and their terrifying appearance is enough to send shivers down anyone's spine. Originally, Oni were seen as wicked spirits that could be malevolent, but were sometimes protectors, illustrating the duality found in many yokai myths. Next, the Tengu. They are half-man, half-bird creatures, and often associated with the mountains and forests. These beings are known for their mischievous nature, sometimes playing tricks on people, but are also revered as protectors of sacred spaces. Next, let's delve into the tale of the Joragamo, a spider woman that can lure unsuspecting travelers into her web. This creature is said to transform into a beautiful woman to attract her prey, only to reveal her true, horrifying arachnid form. The Jorogumo story warns of the dangers of being deceived by appearances, reflecting on themes of seduction and danger. The Kuchisake Ana, or slit mouth Woman, is a ghostly figure that asks potential victims if they think she is beautiful. Should they answer incorrectly, they face her wrath as she reveals her disfigured face, which has been cut from ear to ear. This legend highlights the societal fears and pressures regarding beauty and appearance. Another eerie creature is the Rokurokubi, a seemingly ordinary person by day whose neck can stretch to unnatural lengths at night, allowing them to spy on or scare unsuspecting individuals. This yogai is often a representation of hidden deceit or a dual identity, presenting a perfectly normal facade while hiding a sinister truth. The Naparabo, or faceless ghost, is eerily simple yet profoundly unsettling. These spirits appear as ordinary humans but lack facial features. Encountering a Naparabo is said to evoke a deep-seated fear of the unknown, directly challenging one's perception and comprehension of identity. These stories have been passed down through generations, evolving with each telling yet maintaining the core elements that continue to strike fear and curiosity in those who hear them. They are not just tales of terror, but also mirrors reflecting the social and cultural psyche of their times.